It has served in more conflicts than any other fighter after the Great War and has been used in about 60 countries and continues in service in many of them to this day. The MiG-21 first flew in 55 and was the first Soviet fighter that combined the characteristics of a fighter and interceptor in a single model. This plane has been used in a multitude of armed conflicts, many more than any other combat jet. Throughout the period of its construction, it was the subject of more than 30 modifications and modernizations, with almost 11,500 units being manufactured, making it one of the to the world of aviation aeropedia. In 1950, to the world of aviation aeropedia. In 1954, the Mikoyan Guberic Design Office began testing with the prototype code named SM-12, which consisted of a modification of the Mikoyan Gurevich 19 fighter, but with the difference that in its air intake it mounted a variable position cone that allowed the control of the airflow speed and of the supersonic shock waves at the engine inlet. But we will explain this a little later. With this modification, the speed of the device increased considerably. Several prototypes were then designed based on this. The E1 and the E2 with swept wings like the MiG-19 and the E4 with pure delta or triangular wings. These planes carried out the test flights simultaneously with the aim of establishing which of the two designs was the most suitable and which also had a higher performance. Initially, both prototypes kept pace and the designers found it hard to make a decision. The MiG-21 was the first Soviet fighter that combined fighter and interceptor characteristics in a single model. Its basic design was later used to develop other fighters that included the interceptor Suhoi Sub-9. Like many planes designed as interceptors, the MiG-21 had little flight autonomy. Initially, it presented a design problem where the center of gravity moved backwards once two-thirds of the fuel had been consumed. As a result, the plane became unstable and ended up with a flight time of only 45 minutes without auxiliary fuel tanks. The short flight autonomy of the FPF S and M variants led to the development of the SMT modification, which featured an increase in flight range of 250 km, a notable improvement being the incorporation of a large capacity dorsal tank that distinguishes this version from all others. However, this resulted in a decrease in its performance in flight ceilings of in climb rate and maneuverability. The Allen Delta, being excellent for a fast climbing interceptor, makes any turning maneuver result in a rapid loss of speed. But the lightweight of the latest version of the MiG-29 BIS or BIS allows a climb rate of 235 meters per second with a full combat load, not far from the performance of the more modern F-16A. It was a single engine design with the delta wing. It had a maximum takeoff weight of 7,100 kilos and could operate within a radius of action of 480 kilometers in the first versions and 640 kilometers in the MiG-21B. Its maximum speed was Mach 2.05 or about 2,125 kilometers per hour and had a 30 millimeter cannon with 60 projectiles and three load pylons in the first models and in the more modern ones, five attachment points for external weaponry.
The flaps are of the floating type and use an artificial layer blowing system through a duct that comes from the last stage of the engine compressor and bathes the upper surface of them, making possible the reduction of speed on landing, a system similar to that used by the F-104 Starfighter fighter. A cone at the start of the air intake regulates the air reaching the engine based on flight speed. In this way, the stable operation of the engine is guaranteed for any flight regime and prevents the appearance of unwanted aerodynamic phenomena, as well as moving the shock waves at supersonic speeds out of the intake channel. In the first versions, this cone has three positions. At Mach speed up to 1.5, it is completely inside. Between Mach 1.5 and 1.9 speeds, it is in an intermediate position and at speeds higher than Mach 1.9, it is completely outside. From the PF variants up to the BISU, BIS version, the position adapts to the speed through an automatic regulation system that measures the air pressure at the beginning and end of the engine compressor. The engines of the MiG-21 vary depending on the variants over the years. Each of the new engines installed later are improvements and modernizations of the first, the Tumansky R11, a axial flow turbojet engine with afterburner. The first ones offered a thrust of around 38.3 kN, and the last MiG-21Bs equipped with the Tumansky R35300, the final modification of the Tumansky R11, which achieved a thrust of 97.1 kN. Note that the thrust is triple that of the initial versions. The MiG-29B, the most currently used, has the RP-22 million miles type exploration and fire control radar, which has an exploration range of 30 kilometers. It can only capture a single target. The fighter, having a limited ground attack capability, has impact point computers for free-fall weapons and unguided rockets. In active service by the Variable Geometry Fighter, the MiG-23 in active service by the Variable Geometry Fighter, the MiG-23 in the air superiority role, and by the MiG-27 for ground target attacks. However, it wasn't fully retired until the MiG-29 entered active service. It was popularly known by Russian pilots as Balalaika, a Russian musical instrument for its similarity to it, and by Polish pilots Uvek, pencil in Polish, for the shape of its fuselage. It has been used in a multitude of armed conflicts, many more than any other combat jet. In 1961, the Indian Air Force opted to buy the MiG-21. This was largely driven by the fact that the Soviet Union could transfer the technology. In 64, the MiG-21 became the first supersonic combat aircraft of the Indian Air Force. The good opinion of the pilots about this device during the Indo-Pakistani conflict in 1965 led the Indian government to order more units of MiG-21 and ended up acquiring 120 of these fighters. In the second Indo-Pakistani conflict of 1971, the first supersonic air combat in history occurred. An Fédération Aéronautique Internationale MiG-21 FL shot down an F-104 Starfighter with cannon fire. But undoubtedly, it was in the Vietnam War where this fighter gained the greatest renown, having participated extensively alongside the MiG-17s. The MiG-21 was extensively used in the Middle East conflicts in the 60s, 70s and 80s by the air forces of Egypt, Syria and Iraq. In the conflicts of Yom Kippur, the War of Attrition, Lebanon between Iraq and Iran and several more.
in Africa, the most notable use of the MiG-21 fighters was during the Angola War, also during the conflicts between Ethiopia and Somalia. Cuba was the first country in America to receive this aircraft, starting in 1962. Despite the fact that the original model of the MiG-21 is over 50 years old and that the latest variants produced have already passed more than 25 years in service, air forces of many countries continue to use it. Such is the case with countries like India and Romania, which through modernization work have incorporated the same advanced avionics to put them on par with fourth-generation aircraft. The Romanian Air Force operated the MiG-21 Lancer, a version modified in cooperation with the Israeli company Elbit system. And the Indian Air Force uses the MiG-2193, modernized in cooperation with the RK MiG design office itself, what was before Mikoyan Gubrik. These countries consider that they will maintain the service of these planes between the years 2020 and 2025 inclusive. Similarly, countries like Egypt, despite having more modern aircraft like the Lockheed Martin F-16 Fighting Falcon, consider keeping the MiG-21 in service in the Air Force for a good while longer. Interestingly, these are the photos of the secretly acquired and tested MiG-21 F-13 in the United States. Another interesting fact is this short takeoff and landing version, the short takeoff and landing Mikoyan Gurevich. 21PD technology demonstrator and the Mikoyan Gurevich 2150 that I showed in the Tupol F21 144 video with the aim of testing the Delta wings that would later be incorporated into that plane. Until a new video, my name is Marcos and this is the Aeropedia of Aviation World. Thank you.